the stability of an object depends not only on the the uh, size and dimensions of the object but also on its position now this toy always returns to the upright position and so this is actually a, a special case where no matter which position it's in it always returns back to its upright position and we're asked here to mark an X at a possible position for the toy's center of mass and we need to explain the answer so let's let's take a look at this situation and let's say okay what if the center of mass was up here what if it was up here when we tilt it so center of mass is is now there when we tilt it let's take a look the center of mass is the point through which the weight of the object appears to act so the weight of the object will be downwards try and draw a straight line and you can see that the the weight force and there's the pivot about which the the toy is pivoting the weight force is on the other side of the pivot you could say it's outside of the base of the toy and that weight force will create a turning effect about the pivot you could call it a moment because there is a perpendicular distance from the from the weight to the pivot and so the toy would topple over and so that can't be right the center of mass cannot be up there so let's take a look at somewhere a bit lower then what if we had the center of mass directly here well when we tilt it slightly so the center of mass would now be here let's take a look well the center of mass that the weight force acting downwards through the center of mass is acting directly through the pivot and that's always this always true here it's just like a football the weight is always acting directly through the point of contact even over here the weight acts through the point of contact if you went a bit further it wouldn't because of the, uh, the the geometry of this so this shape therefore if the center of mass was at that position it would not topple and it wouldn't return back to its original position because there's no turning force of that weight about the pivot there's no perpendicular distance from the weight to the pivot so this would be neutral equilibrium just like a football and it it would just stay where it is so that can't be right either so the only possible place or area for this center of mass to to be is here when we tilt it center of mass will be there let's take a look at the weight force acting so it's acting that oh, wobbly line weight force acts down like that and here's the pivot and look that that's going to create a turning effect about the pivot which means the toy will return to its upright position over here let's do the same thing so we've got the center of mass the weight force acting downwards here's the pivot and you can see there's a perpendicular distance from the, the weight force to the pivot and that creates a turning effect a moment which will return the toy to its upright position so this position must be correct and the reason for that is that when tilted when tilted the weight acts about the pivot and we could actually say here inside the base I know it's not an obvious base inside the base the weight acts about the pivot inside the base creating a turning effect turning effect which um, brings the toy back upright brings the toy back upright and notice 
it's a low center of mass which means that this has got this toy is in stable equilibrium